Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. This video will be doing another uh, hand load review video. And this video it will be on my um, beautiful um, 280 Remington. Um, I'll show you guys the uh, rifle here in a second. Um, but I really love 280 Remington um, as a whole. I mean, the cartridge. Um, I mean, <laughs> I love it. Um, I know others that do as well. I think it's really um, underrated cartridge as far as um, velocity um, and pretty much energy goes, power. I mean, it's really a great cartridge and it's just a shame in my opinion that uh, it never really took off. But uh, yeah, so this rifle here, as some of you probably realize by whether it's the just the stock or the uh, bow handle, very smooth action but it is the Remington model 700 this particular one is the BDL and I just love this thing got the uh, polished um, walnut stock on it and uh, yeah, it's got the uh, front iron sight um, I took the uh, rear one off because well it's in the way of the scope. This is a uh, old Tasco 4 to 16 by 40 um, Tasco scope. <clears throat> um, it's really nice scope. Um, they made it back in the 80s and 90s. It's a really nice scope, but um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I'll talk more about the scope and pretty much the whole rifle um, in another video when I'm doing an actual. Um, video on just the rifle setup itself but uh anyhow yeah um <clears throat> so like i said 280 remington love the round love it a bunch and uh yeah let's uh let's get into it i'll also mention that this certain rifle setup here has a 22 inch um barrel as well so uh just a little bit of context for you guys and uh yeah so the first thing in this video that i will um tell you guys that i i uh use in this hand load are nosler partitions um 150 grain seven millimeter spitzer bullets um i love these bullets um <laughs> they're really really something on deer big game um i mean 280 remington that's proven to take out pretty much um any big game animal in North America, um, which is saying something, um, with, uh, polar bears and grizzlies and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, so, I'll show you guys the, uh, bullet itself, like I said, I really love nozzle repartition bullets, um, they're really great on, uh, big game animals, so, um, on Nosler's website, this particular bullet has an over, overall, um, length of about one inch. It's a little bit, it's a tiny bit over one inch, but, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, I've used that bullet on a bunch of deer. Um, I'll actually show you a, uh, picture right up here. Um, viewer discretion advised. Um, has a bunch of blood in it. Um, but back in December during doe season here, the last doe season in, uh, West Virginia here, um, I was out at the farm and I took a, um, doe with it. Um, I was in the woods. It was, I was right on the edge of a, uh, hill and behind that hill was a field. But anyhow, um, um, <clears throat> earlier that hunt i took my um savage 110 and 270 winchester out and uh i just completely missed a doe um earlier that afternoon i mean i don't know what happened um i missed twice i missed that doe twice check for blood anyway just in case didn't see anything but um yeah um i pretty much just put it back um, in the safe, I'll have to shoot that in soon, but then I took the, uh, 280 out that I have there, and, um, 
here came back um, three does, and uh, I was sitting in a, um, some uh, hardwoods and pines. It was mixed forest um, right beside a field, and uh, I watched them walk in. Um, They're pretty much broadside on um, where they came from. Um, they came to my right, but um, I weigh a little bit. Um, that hill has a uh, pretty much like a little field in it, um, like a little bare spot. And I watched them for a couple of minutes um, feed there. And um, I pretty much just uh, waited for a great, for the best shot that I could um, look for. And uh, there's this one doe, it was the biggest one in the uh, herd. Um, she was broadside. Um, the shot was a little bit tricky, but I knew that I could do it with this setup. Um, I knew the gun could do it, I knew that I could do it. So, uh, I ranged it, it was right on 125 yards. And I was like, you know what? I know that I can do it, I know my rifle can do it, so why not? And, uh, I shot her. A little bit low when I walked up to her, but she went down in a matter of, like, 30 seconds if that. Um, she actually ran up the hill right after I shot her. I shot her. Um, <clears throat> she was broadside. I somehow, um, got her in, like, the chest cavity somehow. Um, I, uh, the bullet expanded, and it got her heart and part of her lungs. So, you know, you could probably tell by the blood in that photo that, um, I got a little bit of the heart. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> she, uh, ran, like I said, very shortly. I'd say 20, 30 seconds if the SR go down. So I knew that I did the job right. And, uh, yeah. Um, 125 yards, you know, that's pretty easy. Um, with that setup. And 280 Remington can really do a hurting on deer. Um, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, with my, um, ballistics chart for this hand load. But, um, yeah. Now that we're done with the, uh, bullets, um, like I said, really love those bullets. Gonna go to the casing, and this is a uh, loaded casing. And uh, I use Remington casings. Um, I bought them as some of these I bought as empty, some of them I bought um, loaded. And then I shot the factories out, then I loaded with the uh, Nosler partition bullets. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, these are pretty much the only. Um, casings that you can find are Remington 280 Remington casings. Um, I do believe Lapua makes them and maybe Nosler, but I'm not sure about Nosler 100%. But yeah, I mean, like I said, Remington casings, I love them. Um, for the money, they're, they're very nice. Um, they're decently thick walled. They're definitely not thin walled, so, um, you're more hotter loads um we'll be able to go through this thing a couple times without it cracking but after about three or four times with my load it starts to uh crack usually three times but anyhow yeah remington 280 remington casings definitely do the job and um primers i just started using these primers love them um I got a, a buddy of mine who has a uh, FFL, and um, I actually ordered 400 of these CCI large primer, large rifle primers, number 200. I ordered four 100 packs of them for about 44 bucks from them, which is really nice. Um, that's pretty much going price for large rifle. I couldn't find them anywhere. Big box stores couldn't find them. Um, local gun stores, everybody else <laughs> beat me to them, but, uh, yeah, love these, I did have, uh, I were loading them, I was loading, um, this load and, uh, with the, uh, Winchester large rifle, um, but, uh, yeah, pretty much just got these, shot them, um, love them, and, uh, yeah, they'll definitely get the job done. Once again, CCI large rifle primers number 200. And, uh, yeah, so 
I go under the powder now. Love this powder. Um, once I get my factories shot for my uh, 65 Creed one, I'm gonna use this powder a pretty good amount. Um, love this powder, very medium burning. Um, it's not really slow burning, but it's not fast burning either. So, you know, medium burning. Big game rifles like 280 Remington, I love medium burning powders. Um, so, uh, it's the IMR 4350, um, powder, and, uh, yeah, I love this powder. I actually haven't gotten able to, uh, use this one pound can of it yet, but, uh, yeah, um, I'll probably start loading this for my 243 also for my Sierra Game King 100 grain bullets, um, I love this powder, um, I've been loading, um, me and dad have been reloading the uh, 280 Remington with IMR4350 powder for ever, um, pretty much when he got it and uh, when I started reloading with him. But yeah, IMR4350, um, I'll put a uh, chart up here for you guys for the uh, overall ballistics of the uh, 280 Remington in my setup. Um, you can kill deer out to about 700 to 800 yards um, you could stretch it out to 900, maybe a thousand if you have the right setup. Um, this one I can shoot out to, uh, 600 yards after that. I mean, um, I'll show you guys the setup since I'm done with the powder. It's got a, uh, custom elevation turret dial here. And it goes out to about 600 yards. So, yeah. On my setup, after about 600 yards, um, it's pretty much a lost cause. I, I wouldn't try. Um, I don't know if I'd try anything beyond that. Um, about 500, I'm pretty much comfortable. If you're shooting five to 600 yards max, you're going to be getting into serious long range. Um, hunting, um, you know, that's pretty good distance. Um, that'll get you pretty much any scenario. Um, you know, if you see an elk, like say a thousand yards out, I mean, just sneak in a little bit to where you can get a good shot and, uh, you'll be good to go. Um, as long as you know your ability and your rifle's ability. And, uh, yeah, so... Once again, IMR4350 powder. Love this powder. Can't say it enough. Very versatile. Um, it's just really nice. Really nice powder. And uh, maintains speed in the bullet very well. Especially at range. So, uh, yeah. I believe that's it for this hand load video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um... If you can get your hands on a 2A Remington rifle, I'd uh, I'd take advantage of it. I love it. It's very this load also. It's very mild recoiling. Um, I notice very little difference between it and my 270, which um that one I shoot 150 grain Sierra Game King bullets out of it. But yeah, very mild. Um, for a seven millimeter, um, cartridge. Um, it's just a very nice big game round, very, um, versatile for big game as well. You know, deer, elk, moose, bears. And, um, uh, yeah, the only problem with 280 is that casings are a little bit hard to come by. I mean, as long as you go on the internet and look around your, uh, local stores or, you know, um, big retailers, um, you'll be able to find 280 Remington casings, um, without a doubt, and, um, yeah, I believe that's all I got for you guys, um, and, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe, and, uh, that's it for you guys, hope you all enjoy this video, and uh, I hope it gave you guys some um, I guess entertainment 
and maybe a couple of ideas for your next 280 Remington load if you have a 280. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.